in Houston Station on Space Ground 2. We're just a few minutes from starting with you, Laurel. And Laurel Houston on space to ground two. Uh, the next voice you hear will be uh, Governor Abbott of Texas, who's uh, here in Mission Control with us visiting. So they're just sending up the handset, and you'll be hearing from him next. Excellent. Thanks, Roger. Laurel, can you hear me? I have you loud and clear. How me? Uh, Governor Abbott coming to you from the great state of Texas. Welcome, Governor Abbott, to the International Space Station, 250 miles above Earth's surface. I want you to know how proud we are that we have a native Texan from the Houston area uh, that I'm talking to as you uh, circle around the entire globe today. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's an honor to get to represent Houston and the state of Texas up here on ISS. We're, we are proud of all you're doing. Full passes over Houston this week. Say it again, please. I was just saying, we've been making some beautiful passes over Houston and Texas this week. Uh, we'll actually be flying right over Houston tonight, so I know we'll all be in Cupola looking down on the city. That's outstanding. Uh, I want you to know that we are at NASA today uh, because uh, this last year, uh, Texas, uh, the state legislature, uh, passed a Texas Space Commission uh, where the state of Texas itself uh, is going to take a more profound lead and involvement in advancing space exploration for the future that no doubt you will be a part of. That's incredible news and I'm proud to be a get to be a part of that. Uh, we heard about it earlier today and um, I think that's really exciting. So uh, while I'm talking to you, can you do any fancy moves? Of course, it's one of our favorite things to do up here. Uh, excellent. Uh, it's something we can't do at home. No. Um, getting to do all the research and science that we do up here is Incredible. Um, obviously, the International Space Station is an incredible platform for research, uh, but adding the component of microgravity makes it both challenging and also a whole lot of fun. You look like the Simone Biles of outer space. I'll take that as a huge compliment. Thank you. <laughs> uh, anything particular that you are working on today? Well, this is a great week up here. We just got uh, SpaceX Cargo Dragon 30 up here on Saturday, so it docked Saturday, and so we've been busy unpacking the vehicle and getting started on all sorts of new science, scientific research. Um, yesterday, I was working in the glove box on some life sciences experiments today that one of my crewmates, Mike, has been continuing today, and then we've also got a bunch of uh, human health research going on this week, um, and then I'm actually starting to get ready to come back. I'll be back uh, in two weeks from today. That's outstanding. Well, we are now. very, very proud of all that you are doing, very proud of the way that you represent the state of Texas, very proud of the NASA mission, and we wish you a very safe return. Thank you so much, and thank you and the state of Texas.
Texas for all the support that you've shown human spaceflight. Um, Houston and Texas has been the hub for human spaceflight for over 60 years uh, with mission control in Houston, Houston being the home of all of the astronauts. Um, it's just an honor to be, get to be a part of it all, um, especially since it's my hometown. There you go, and that's exactly it. Uh, you're you're rep representing your hometown uh, very well. Just know how proud we are of you, and we can't wait to see you back on Earth. Thank you. And I uh, hope you enjoy the day at Johnson Space Center. Will do. Thank you so much. Station Houston on two, you can resume normal comms on space grounds, two as needed.